we never really know who we truly are until we're vulnerable with other people. What vulnerability does is it moves us from isolation and into connection with other people. I think that there's a, a great deal of shame in our society that creates a stigma about what it is to be vulnerable emotionally, to be seen by another person in that state. Also, what it is to need help. EMDR is a technique, or better explained as a process used in psychotherapy to help uh, individuals reprocess trauma. It utilizes bilateral stimulation. You can bilaterally stimulate the brain in a number of ways, either visually or tonally through the auditory senses or even uh, through the tactile senses where you've got pulses or, or the individuals moving their eyes back and forth from, from left to right, right or left helps people, I think, use more of their mind in order, to, uh, in order to perceive what's happened to them in the past, in addition to kind of uh, uh, disrupting the fight or flight uh, reaction to, to the memories that, that haven't been processed before. An individual can process a significant amount of information in a, in a small amount of time, so it actually works very quickly. Sometimes the emotions and, and the different experiences, the sensations, will come up very quickly and very powerfully in a session but there are different techniques that you can use to help people uh, kind of manage that through the process. Grounding exercises are recentering techniques that help individuals become kind of more focused, more centered, and ultimately more relaxed in just their being in the world. Being grounded is a state of mind. It's a state of consciousness. It's also a state of felt experience for a client. can actually feel a shift sometimes in the energetic system in between the therapist and the client. Something has shifted in their mind about the experience. Challenging oneself to be vulnerable is, is, a, is a very powerful thing. If we try to keep ourselves from getting hurt all the time, we are, we're not going to be able to to feel love, we're not going to be able to, to feel the extent of our ability to hate, we're not going to be able to also be able to feel real joy or, or feel an embodied experiential experience of, of who we are as people.